Welcome to CCTV. This is Chris Fernald speaking. How's everybody doing out there? Well, that grand intro is the way to go. If it irritated you, good, because I'm, what I'm going to show you irritated me for two days now. Um, it's so surreal, so mind blowing. We're starting out here at nine in the morning. We're going to go to four o'clock in the afternoon, and the sky starts just doing this. Now, since I caught this yesterday, I've seen four other blinking skies different ways. I want me to show you right there in the left hand corner. It's 10 o'clock, 10.30 in the morning and there's the sun. Now I don't think it's our sun. I think it's what you're going to see at 4 o'clock. It comes actually down. Because facing, you know, this is facing pretty much west, right there where the sun looking object is. And it's not just the, the sun from the east making it look like that on the clouds. It's an actual power source right there. People are terrible. So right about here, folks, I decided to jump to 4 o'clock. Because, um, you know, I can see the whole sky. So I jumped to 4 o'clock and then, boom, right off the bat. Actually, I was scanning around and right off the bat I seen the sun do this. Or not the sun because it's only 4 o'clock. And the object that we just talked about on the left-hand corner now moved down. And look at this live. This is how fast it was going. It's unreal. Wow. Keep watching. So there could be some, some fake um, plasma strikes here, but uh, I've never seen this type of activity in the middle of the day and the day be this dark. This just freaked me out. This went on for like eight minutes. It's a little bit time lapse. No, yeah, it's a little bit time lapse right now. Probably twice as fast as I caught it. Um, but you can see it's 4:37, something like that. 4:30. Well, the sun don't go on the horizon at four, and I'm going to show you in a minute the sunset, and it's going to be out of order, but um, I want you to realize what's really going on here. This is some type of um, plasma strike. Now, somebody told me it could be the bottom of a ship, that round blue object. I think it's the bottom of a planet going over, and then other people that are looking for the little red you know, planet being way up close to the sun, well, this could be the effect at that far away. Can you imagine when it gets up really close and we're just seeing shadows? I don't know. I'm not the scientist. 
I'm just trying to show you what I find. See, 411. Sun don't do that at 411 on the west, and that's a little bit, that's perfect west, it's a little bit north, but it don't happen at 411. Now I just jumped back right now to about the 10, 10.30, quarter to 11 mark when the skies were just blue and purple. You know, I have a lot of speculation that's the blue on the right and the blue on top as you see it. With the flashing is Nibiru or Atu's moon. The purple could be Atu's reflection. Atu's getting pretty big. So keep watching.
Now honestly folks, this went on for like about seven or eight minutes straight, maybe longer. Um, just in a one time period like right now. And what you'll notice is um, the, the lower the planet gets, the, the more strikes that happen, or the more frequent. Um, but you can see the planet as it gets lower and lower. It's like squeezing that plasma, it's getting wider. To my understanding, I heard these things can cut a Grand Canyon into the Earth. I hope I'm not around to see that. Pole shift is happening, I believe. Um, some serious times, folks. Serious times. See Nibiru on top? Now, if that's not Nibiru, that could be, you know, Atu's moon. I'm not sure. Um, I'm guessing it's Nibiru because it's dark purple-blue. And it's making the whole sky blue and purple and pink. You know, it, the colors are for unreal. Who needs to use a filter when, there's, you know, when the sky is giving you this, right? Wow. So... Make sure you subscribe, um, get on Facebook, see for an all channel, on Facebook, see for an all channel, and I notify people to let me know they want to be notified, so keep watching. This was pretty extreme, caught some UFOs, I zoomed in on them. And I'm going to do a, a bunch of uh, freeze frames. So it's about 10 o'clock at night right now. And so Nibiru is on top right there. The dark blue it moves to the left. Um, this right here is around 4, 4, 4 05, 4 o'clock. And see, it starts just doing that. Now that's how fast it was actually going. I slow it down, I freeze frame it. What I want to point out on the top, on the top up there is Nibiru. Above the plasma strikes. The plasma is actually like um, magnets pushing off each other. So Nibiru is close enough to push off the earth and do a plasma strike. So let me add some music to this. Look for the UFO. I think the UFO actually goes through a portal. When I brought the contrast down, you'll see it looks like a portal, like a stargate, like on the TV show. The water on the stargate looks like water. That's exactly what it looks like. So enjoy the show, and I'll talk to you in a minute.